Now, the National Lotteries Commission has a new board. Members of a previous board whose tenure expired in March last year have been embroiled in scandal after they allegedly took funds meant for worthy causes to fund luxury homes and cars. Famous people, including actress Terry Petto, have also been implicated in diverting money through dodgy lotto grants. The new members include the former head of the Asset Forfeiture Unit, uh, Willie Hoffmeyer, the former Director General General of the Department of Trade and Industry, Lionel October, and the former head of the Competition Commission, Temin Korsi Bonakele. This board replaces the four-member board appointed in March last year for a one-year term, chaired by Professor Barney Patiana. Well, Professor Patiana, joining us now. Uh, Professor, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Is, is this the end of the road for you, firstly? Probably... We're continuing the work that has been started, uh, Francis, by the uh, short-term uh, board that the minister appointed in March 2022. So, so that board, by and large, uh, some of the members of that board are continuing in this new board, and the work is continuing. But you won't, you won't be part of the board. I am part of the board. I was appointed in September for a five-year term uh, as chairperson. The, the, the new board is really um, both filling the board uh, uh, in a more hopefully permanent uh, or five-year term, which is a normal term, um, and, uh, and, and, and replacing those who are no longer able to participate uh, in, the, in the board. All right. Th thank you for clarifying. Uh, a lot of the reporting suggests that you were a chair of a board that was only in place for, for one year. Um, so, so you're saying that's not the case. You will continue uh, on this board. New members are, are being added. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, uh, do you, do you believe that the, the four-member board, uh, what you've achieved over the last year, uh, the mandate was essentially to come in and, and try and fix things. Uh, what have you achieved? The, the, the board that was appointed uh, in March, and I joined that board in September, as you will recall, Francis, has done some amazing work uh, in, the, in the interim um, they had to kind of get in there and deal with the, with the difficulties at the same time rebuild the National Lotteries Commission. And, and at the time, they, they, they were working with the SIU, uh, partnering with the NPA, and, and at the same time, the work of the National Lotteries Commission has to be maintained, and, and, and a lot of new initiatives have taken place. So yes, that board has done its work and I think has done very well. Uh, some of the members of that board are continuing in the, in the new board that I saw uh, appointed uh, uh, in, the, in the cabinet uh, on Wednesday. And uh, will you be chair? It's, it's also been reported uh, a chair, a deputy to be announced? That's correct. My appointment as chair is for five years. Uh, beginning in September 2022. So I had a, a, a five-year appointment in September, as of September 2022. The other members of the board, they all had one-year appointments until, until March 2023. So what has happened is that it's the rest of the board that has now been appointed to join uh, the National Lotteries Commission Board and in a sense with me continuing as chairperson. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you for clarifying that. Um, I don't think it has been clear, we, we appreciate that. Last year it was reported that the SIU, um, obviously that we know the fraud and corruption is extensive. They were looking at dodgy tenders, uh, dodgy lotto grants of 1.4 billion. Uh, is, is that the scale of the problem? Do you think that the scale of it has now been determined? Well, uh, uh, nobody really knows definitively because work is continuing. The SIU is seeking an extension of their proclamation 
to be able to deal with grant funding, which the proclamation, original proclamation, did not uh, deal with, with the supply chain management issues as well. So th that tells you that um, uh, uh, anything can happen. We, we continuing to discover uh, through the reports we receive from the SIU, uh, more problems uh, about uh, what was happening in the board of the of the National Lotteries Commission. Yeah, I think you've already worked with uh, Willy Hofmeier. Is is it really uh, great to have somebody like that there, known as a corruption buster, and uh, some of the new names, uh, really formidable uh, people, great reputations. Uh, so, so Absolutely. it sounds like the the composition is is really a strong one uh, mm -hmm. on this new board. Truly, it's a fantastic board, um, and I say it's, it's the board that was um, appointed by cabinet. And the minister, of course, is the is the appointee in terms of the act. And the minister, uh, I hear from him, uh, will be writing the the formal letters of appointment, which only when they have received the letters of appointment signed by the minister will the appointments be formal and, and complete. So as of now, um, the, the, all we have to work with is the memo of the cabinet meeting that took place yeah. on Wednesday. All right, looking back, uh, so, so you've had a chance to, to see what was going on. You said the scale really isn't clear now, but we know that there were lawyers uh, contracted, involved, accountants contracted, um, a commissioner implicated, board members implicated. Do you have any observations on how this was able to happen given the structures of the Lotto Commission then and, and the structures above and, and around them? I mean, it just looks like wholesale daylight looting. It's not difficult to recognize, Francis, that all of that happened because there was a massive collapse of good governance in the organization. And uh, when, when governance collapses, um, the accountability features of the Act and of the PFMA, they, they are all uh, uh, under challenge. So really that is what happened. And so so the first thing that needed to happen and which we are working on is to reinstate good governance in the National Lotteries Commission uh, so that there is a clarity about the role of the board in relation to the role of, of the management and, and, yeah. and the operations. And is it still a good model for South Africa to have uh, people, sometimes poor people, being sold lottery tickets. The money, ostensibly, it didn't always go to good causes. Maybe in future it will. Is, is that still uh, something that we should hold on to? The National Lotteries Commission is, uh, is, an, is an excellent initiative by government, actually. Because what it does, it, 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 it gives substance to what the Constitution requires and it elevates the work of the civil society non-profit organizations that are seeking to 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 contribute to the well-being of people uh, uh, in community level at grassroots level and to do so uh, practically uh, not as government but as civil society that is a revolutionary uh, initiative that i think for me um uh, that justifies the work of the National mm. Lotteries Commission more than anything else, to empower citizens and society to become development agents in their communities. All right, thank you for that. Hopefully a very different uh, story to tell in future. That's uh, Chairperson of the National Lotteries Commission uh, Board, Professor Barney Patiana. He, as he said, will stay in his post and new board members uh, have been now chosen by Cabinet.